So this is Nancy Hall. I think everyone here already knows her. She's a local artist. She's amazing. She um, is a mouth painter. She has a lot to share, and I know that she loves some discussions. This is our here new revolution of how we can change the world. I think I know everybody. I know you. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. I know. I know. Okay, well, again, my name is Nancy Wall, and I'm here to talk to you about the Nancy Wall Center. Um, and I think that the Nancy Wall Center is a great place to talk about the Nancy Wall Center. I was not an artist before the accident, and I'm an artist now. I just told my kids to be all the homework and signing my name. And um, I was crafting before the accident, but I wasn't artistic. I did craft and, you know, color and stuff like that. So the kids would color and I wanted to color. So I um, tried to move my hand, and it was awful. And so I knew a, a mouth painter named John Harrison. She is a watcher music and also a uh, painter with her mouth. She's a, uh, she's an inspirational speaker, a writer. I read the story before I became paralyzed. And then when I became paralyzed, it's just like, I'm going to go to bed. I'm not writing. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know anything about it. It took me a little while. And um, so after about two years, I started painting with my mouth. I just got a And at first it was done. And then I started going a little more, a little more. And um, now I'm doing two things. Um, the Mouth Painting is an international organization. It's a for profit. So we're aiming to make a living by selling our art to around the world. So right now, all my artwork goes to that. I'm under contract with that. So everything that I paint goes over there. They have to judge it. Sometimes they'll purchase it. Sometimes they don't. If they purchase it, I get like a one-time purchase from them. And then they make cards or notebooks or wrap. Uh, what's that? Oh, no, wrapping paper. Picture of like people getting their wrap paper and puzzle. Um, I'm not on the card twice now. I, I'm doing their family puzzles and everything like that. So, with all that said, and then of course, I'm going to have to do another list of too. So, all that goes there. And my goal is to become a member of, of their of these organizations. And then they make me every year. So I'm like, well, it's not good. So I made a little video of how what I do. I chose my studio, and after I showed the video, I'll talk a little bit. So here it is. Hey, folks, you have to come over here. I'd like to show you my studio. So my son is going to be in the studio. If you want to look around, you want to learn about lettuce. And variety of marshmallows, birds, all kinds of supplies, and then my wonderful artwork. And then the ceiling is a little bit And the lid has some skylights. And I have windows all over. It's a little facing room, so I have to move from that to so as a mouth painter, you will see my art elements. My name's Kenneth Sonoma. Invented it. Um, we did it kind of start. It's all massive time. Everything that I paint with 
is magnetized. So if I want a water color, I so that's the water color that I had. And I have this awesome thing up here. Of course, if you're just my water color, then I need to set it in the afternoon. And then when I want to include things, I do a color color palette, and then that palette, and then I want that. And I just made a fresh palette, and I just started with painting yesterday. And then one of my sunflowers from my yard, and I took it with my that's the color of my living room, my beautiful blue. That's the one, one day of painting. So, and then when I go to paint, I'm just going to pull right up here, and my girlfriend's going to put the paper to the towel. And I go right up real close. And I have this wonderful chair that allows me to go up. So, and why?
So I just had to flip it. So I do have limited movement with my neck. So it's hard for me to do really big like turns. Um, I think they're not going to be Yes, yes. Here we go. So, and those little slots, those were actually uh, candy decorating silver things. Then we put a straw inside there, and I can line it up with your paintbrushes and pull from what I need. So that if I'm in the zone or I have to call somebody or switch me out a paintbrush, but there's a lot of times that, like Vanessa Cross is my art teacher. So she'll come and she sits next to me and she basically loads up my brush with color. Can you hear me, Jack? Yeah. So she loads up the paint brush and she'll just hand me the color that I need. Like we worked on storage today and she gave me that beautiful color, that, that gorgeous on the elephant, that salmon color. I want to show you some of my folders so this way you know where I'm coming from. So now I'm going to go all the way. Turn it on my website. This is my really early early year. So as you can see, this stuff I made it all out of my head. This is something I looked at. This is like when I first started. I just made it what I felt. I called it the Nancy Flowers. I used this is what I felt like making it or I made it. So I felt one day this I made for the spiral of paints. This circle, what I stuck up on the tape, I still use the same, same thing. And so the international health and foot. Association of South Connecticut. So, with lessons, I do all. So, that's all my old stuff. Now, my older work, I can reproduce, make cards, notebooks. I can sell this stuff. Either I can sell frames, I can sell whatever happens. So, that way, you guys get a, uh, a kind of look at the aspect. Uh, this way, you guys kind of know where I come from and how far I. Been able to go to because I do like making aspects, not just my paintings. Um, they don't need to be just my paintings. So on my off time, I always make them maybe a wacky. So I, I, I enjoy, I like trees and there's a lot of emotions and stuff I do. So now, um, then we can hand out those books. So, yeah, so we can hand out these books, and this is the, the, uh, the association uh, books. This is what I'm a part of. So, what you're going to be looking at is um, different mouth painters and different foot painters, and their paintings are amazing. Like, not even though I have to go to it, because these guys can do them like I just go maybe, like, they keep those kind of close to getting there, but these guys are like fantastic. I'm up um, in 2022 for revaluation. So we'll see that if I qualify, I'll become an associate, not a formal. So, and then that's one step closer. So then they mark it on your paint, on your paintings. So I know she shows a lot of things on Facebook so much. We put all of our work. There's 800 of us, and there's 66 in the United States. And I do one of them. Not to say there's not other mouth painters, but this is not the American Association. So, questions? How long does the US Every three years. Every three years. Yes, every three years. Even if you want. Every three years, uh, I get reevaluated by them. So, and I've been, I've been a student for 10 years. So, and I, I've come a long way, and I'm still going to be. So, the people who are, who have graduated and you're not, and have very members, 
Do they have to read jury every so many no. years? Yeah. Once you're a member, you're a member for life until you pass. You're not only a member, but you don't have to pay. You only have to pay anything you want. So, you, like right now, I am required to have a minimum of seven master's pieces turned in a year. That's a lot. That, yeah. That's a lot of painting to, to hand in seven quality paintings. You know what I'm saying? In one year. So, I got to kind of hustle them out. Sometimes they're easier than others. Sometimes they, you know, depends. Like during quarantine, I put some good ones out because I they don't even know they can paint. I mean, because some summertime I don't paint as much because I'm outside. So I'm a little tan. But I like to paint. I just want to be outside. I want to be in my studio painting when it's 80 degrees out in the morning. Enjoy my summer. So, it's it's a uh, it's challenging. It's just too many things that um I'm gonna get the summer book and it starts. You'll see some of my other artwork that's not on the website. You'll see my first picture that I ever painted compared to now what I paint now. Of course, my kids are here. This is definitely a solid change. Never paint at night. Yeah. Well, I think it's at my studio. I was very well lit. I have really nice dark hair. All times during the day. At night when you paint, what kind of lighting do you use? Paint on you? I have a really Anyone? nice, bright artwork. Like a really. Is it LED or fluorescent? Probably LED. I know I bought it at Michael's. It's an art bin. Whatever it is. Very powerful, very bright, and I, I, I actually paint with it on. So, what else is it? Uh, if there's any reference, uh, set how how long? I no, I think well depends on how how much I paint. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I'm really into it, about four hours. Any more than that, and my neck is well. It's my my eyes and my neck. My my neck is is it's really. Oh, am I on Zoom? Oh, hi guys! I didn't even know that. Hi. Hi. Surprise! I didn't even know. So yeah, no, it depends on it depends on the uh it, the day. If it's raining, two hours. If it's a beautiful day. If it's dry out or tight, you know, not tight. You know, if I'm really into a thing, I think the longest was painting the building. I started painting, I think about uh, about 10 30 at back then. I was like, I did it. Oh my god. I just painted the elephant's head. And then I painted his body seven times. I could not get the body right. And it's not gray and purple. To make that color is actually purple. Which is like a okay, so I'm learning color theory. What colors make what colors? Some people like to mix their own colors, some cheat out of the two and do a little bit of both. Um, I try to make my own, like, why make my own when they sell all those colors at one time? So I do a little bit of both. Um, but I, 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 I thoroughly. And having the apparatus with it magnetized now, it's so much different because before I did it off of a um, music stand. Remember that? That's what the days are. I had a music stand and we set it up on the music stand and I had to really crank my metal back. So it, it, it really was a game changer. So I mean, it's kind of a privilege to be part of the MFBA, and and it's opened uh, so many avenues financially, so that I can hire a teacher, um, study, you know, go to galleries. I go to art a few times, lectures, and you 
you know, every whether I bathe with my mouth or piece of paper with our hands, we're like watching the sun setting the day. You listen to music, and if so, what do you like to listen to? Great question. I listen to a lot of music. Believe it or not, I listen to the music. But did you ever watch a really good movie and it's got actual music to it? So I used to do movie scores, uh, classical, uh, worship. Occasionally, I get the jam and all that. I'm like, you know, you get a good song going, and you're like, okay, wait a minute. So I, I try to keep it like not, not having to sing because then I'll start singing and then I have to back up and sing to the song. So that's why the music scores, uh, movie scores are so good. It's like, you know, the theme from like Lord of the Rings or like, you know, the last of the moment here, you know, so it makes you inspirational, something like that, something else. So that was it. Unless I'm really concentrating, then I have no side of it. And because I mean, I have a piece of paintbrush that's literally a Travis paintbrush. So, okay. How long is the paintbrush? Your, your average torch. Six inches, eight inches. So I'm like eight inches from the couch. So I'm like, you know, like horrible. I can't see if I'm doing with the eagle's eye. I have to use the smallest paintbrush to get that detail. So I'm in, I'm like, I get to hold my breath. I'm like, because I have to, you know. Because most artists have their finger is spending their fingertips, so I, I don't have any spending my head. So I'm like trying to take a breath and hold my breath for a minute. No coffee. So I have to, you know, can be so the coffee wears off. You know, the way my head goes. There you go. <laughs> you know, so I have to be careful when I when I do. And I am grateful for my chair. My chair, um, so this chair, this was a good chair. This gave me enough painters that they paint like really hard. I don't know how they did big brushes that came in. No, what they're doing is they are. They do it and they grit it out. So they'll do it in grits. Um, I don't know if you ever know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So they'll they and they also have a big rotating um they'll put it on a big rotating device. So then like I flip my paintings upside down. So when I have to get to the top of the painting, I literally will flip it upside down and get the top of the painting. So then I can't reach it. It hurts me to look up, so I will flip the painting upside down and paint it that way, or sideways, or whichever way I can get to it. I don't know how. Some of them are have more mobility. Some do lean forward, and like it's they might be sixty by forty. It's big. It's big. So, and a lot of your foot paintings paint by real big. Yeah, they they paint real big. But, <laughs> Well, and also there's a mouth painter, she has no arms. So she can really lean forward, stand up. So she's got a, a totally different situation than me. She doesn't have any arms, but she can stand up, lean over, walk around, go get this. For me, I mean, I can turn my head this way, not that way. So I kind of, it's limited for me, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's not that it's different. They don't care if it's low or just blow it out themselves. So, but I mean, it's, it's incredible some of those, those other mouth paintings. I mean, I just, I find it fascinating. So that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I feel like <coughs> it's a privilege that I can give you guys this information. I feel like I'm involved. 
get a sense of how many artists that are illustrated who are trained artists in boards that supported those. Most of them, most of them were. Well, as far as I know, like if you go on their Facebook or their stories, a lot of them have actually happened and they are maybe, you know, like the one lady, she was in art school and then they asked how she got shot and she finished her art school and she went on to do it. Some of them were born disabled and just make painted some just as like me, some of the time, and we're able to, you know, hold in on their It's a lot of words. And a lot of words is uh, we all have our limitations. Like, again, like I say, some of the malcators have no arms, and yet it's a little easier for them. You know, foot painters, it's a little easier. But then again, who am I to say all our fits can be foot? I find foot painters like, I watch a little stream of wood and, you know, I'm like, they're painting with credit cards or like what's happening. And then they're like, the one that I painted this whole picture with a credit card. I mean, you should see it. The painting is like a perfect straight line that it smears it. I was like, man, you know, so we all have our, I thought about city painting, I was kind of like, you see what my hat is? Somebody's like, you have to get the photo. A good idea. I could like suck up a little paint to swallow. I don't know if it would work. It'd be a little messy. Yeah, I thought I'm like, eh. you know, I, I've done it with the kids where you pull bubbles, like you let the bubbles pop on. So, I mean, it's, I, I, I'm looking at different, having fun with it, but they also expect me to turn in what people like. People like the florals. People like the animals. People like the uh, a lot of Christmas themes. We sell a lot of Christmas cards. I'm certainly quite into Christmas Christmas uh, stuff. So we get to do the Christmas themes. Um, I mean, a lot of it's I, I paint a lot of it for them. Like I said, I like a lot of abstracts. I don't want to do you know find a lot of abstracts. We have to ask again. I don't know if you, the last time we saw you, 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 you told us, but what was the inspiration behind painting words together? My grandson loved poetry. And I was a little bit And I, I saw a reference of George. And I'm like, oh, so, and I was challenged. George was a very big challenge. But uh, I didn't think I could do it. And, uh, like I said, I have a video of the progression of this. I got my Facebook. A lot of times when I'm done with the picture, I'll take all the pictures because I like to take a picture of every time I paint. I take it before and I take it when I'm done. So that you can see um, you know, the progression. And then I'll culminate it into a quick video. One minute video and put it on Instagram or Facebook, and you can see the progression. And with George, it's amazing the progression. Like I said, I painted the body like eight times, seven times, and completely repainted the whole thing. I got the head right, and then I just couldn't get the wrinkles, I couldn't get the dimension, I couldn't get the. And then the people, the people was, I would say, harder than George. Only because he did his feathers in terms of like a plume where it looked like that was quite challenging. And I, I have a picture of a lion in it that was uh he was challenging too. So that was that was uh I think birds. I think the feathers are birds. I, I really like I'm a realist. I think like realism. Like if it doesn't look real, I, I'm not done. If it looks like it's not like an elephant, I don't have all But then I like abstract. But then it's totally elephant. So it's not like that in between. I we were talking about this a while ago. You like it more vague, and where I like it more 
exercises. So everybody, you know, likes it different. Like I, I like George, he looks real to me. So yet yeah, there's a little bit of the, the beach and the water piece of what you did with the light, it just gets part of why I love it. Right. The lighting is a reflection from the sun onto the water. Yeah. Made it just glow. I think it was the sunset. I just finished the painting of the, the cross of the sunset. That's on my Facebook. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. I was listening to your message. So, uh, if you ever want to be a uh, get the mailing list for the MFBA, I have uh, postcards up here. You guys put your addresses on them, and you can become um, get on the mailing list. And they'll mail you, you know, postcards or, uh, you know, like I, I'm on there. Like, uh, so I got.
And then I was going to paint a still white, and it just said, like, paint a tea sample. Took a picture, thought about it, looked at it, I'm like, no. So I like to paint an animal. Thinking of a puppy. Thinking of a puppy or kitten or. If I get if someone sends me a photo of a good you've got a good photo that you took, I like it. If my aunt keeps sending me pictures and I like I painted a picture that she sent me and they bought it, then the PA loved it. I got so mad at it that I actually that's the one I told you guys. I literally wanted to run it over. With my wheelchair multiple times, and I'm like, I have to take it down and put it away. Yes, it says not No, maybe <laughs> I get a text in, but that would be boring. It would be a practice. I have a painting in there of a woman that I, that was my practice painting that made my. Um, Self portrait. It took, the reason I painted myself with a mask is that was the first painting that I ever painted that showed dimension. So I wanted something to show that it was poking out and I hadn't done anything like that. So it was a, a, a lesson that I learned. I didn't want to make the nose look like a nose. Like how does the nose look like it's pointing out of the picture? I didn't know how to do that. So it was like a little practice um, of the woman or the woman or something. And then she on the TV though. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't pick me up. I couldn't see it. So it was good. It was good. Yeah. I turned it in. Okay. So it's only a seven of the eighty five and it's not that it's a walk option. So the original walk option. Because I can't make a print. I can sell the original, but I can't. Okay, any picture. I can make a print for display purposes. Like I, I have to do that. That's it. Okay. Any other questions? I teach lots of kids too. I do. I teach a whole art class every Thursday to kids, ages three to 13. So even though I can't move, I still can instruct. They start recording for half of me. Come up to take a look at the other pictures before I pack it up. I feel kind of under qualified. Yeah, I